right, guys. Looks like we have chat bands and a game. It's gonna be Los Padrinos versus Pogo World in round two. Chat bands, Catherine, and Jax, Pandan, and Nidalee. And we are into the select. Hi. Hello. I have to update my team names on the top because for some reason I had them backwards. Yes, Padrinos on the left side and Amateur Pogo League. Oh wait, what is it? Wait. Amateur. I thought it said Pogo, Pogo World. Pogo World. Yep, you're right. I just got that from the game name. I don't. That's all I got. The game name said Pogo World. I believed it. Cool. Then the chat bands for this game are Kasten, Jax, Pantheon, and Nidalee. Kasten, good to see him banned. I like seeing him occasionally, but I also like seeing him banned. He's still pretty good. I feel like he's he's banned a reasonable amount of the time. Has he picked up a win in the finals yet? Who? Cass? Cass? I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's still on a losing streak right now as a champion. Well, I mean, he won last game. And I think he won a semi-final game a couple weeks ago. But I don't think he's won a finals game yet. This overlay is too powerful. Like, you guys need to check out the VOD. I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff with it. I have, I have the chat captured on it. Both the team names, the game name... The chat bands, like, dude, it's, I love this overlay, and I don't need to have the summoner blockers up, because it's a VOD. Like, That's whoa. True. It's pretty That's cool. Uh, Let's take a look at the bands, nothing out of the ordinary going on in that department. It's not too often that we see a kill ban, unless it's specifically against BB. But it's also not a terrible ban. Zalclaus plays on a lot of Kale too. Um, let's see, Zalclaus, BB. I'm trying to think of who else plays Kale. Probably a whole bunch of people. We always get bad at this. We always like, who plays this champion? And then we don't remember. Then the chat, should the chat reminds us of like four things. So we are seeing a Wukong being picked up. Wukong, great. Armor reduction is good to have. His initiation is really solid. Excellent champion to have on this map. Over on the other side, we are seeing... Game. Really solid last game. Ergot right. and Leona. Afro Dynasty. Also oh. plays that. Oh. And we're seeing an Ergot and a Leona. And Leona is an extremely durable champion. Yes, so... Has a lot of crowd control. And Urgot, good top lane, good bottom lane, long range harass, does a lot of damage. Yes, so... I really like saying that. It's just so fun to say yes, so... Yes, so... Yes, so... Yes, so... Alright, there's gonna be yes in this game. And block the Zenith Blade from Leona so far. And Urgot's extremely annoying homing missiles, aka Acid Hunter. Acid Hunters are awesome. Their range is eternal. We're gonna. Ooh! True. We might see a Ramus. Looks like we will see a Ramus. Ramus has an annoyingly long taunt and is very mobile with his Q, turning us on that power ball. And just gets around the entire map in approximately 0 .001 seconds. That's a scientific number. Yeah, it's it's been proven with advanced calculatus. Yeah, I, I used many numbers and much math. Did you use some Greek in there too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, used, I called one of the variables kappa. Wait, what is kappa in math? Um, sometimes it's like... It's used in physics for a couple things, I think. But it's also just a generic Greek letter. And so if you just need a Greek letter, then you can use kappa. I didn't think we'd ever talk about K 
Kappa's literal relevancy to anything. <laughs> but I definitely have used Kappa as a variable name in the past, so... If you've ever played Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, the Yellow Switch Palace is on Kappa Mountain. Whoa, Zanbot! <laughs> Zanbot is out of control! Can, can I remove this... Can I remove this, uh... No, that's the best command. It is the... Oh my god. That command is out of control. I gotta update my item counter now. Dang it. Oh, what are we tracking today? Times River gets off topic. <laughs> See, now I just have to troll this. Alright, taking a look back at the now-completed champion select screen, uh, we have a rumble. So how was your day-to-day, -day, Gander? It was Hearthstone. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's your favorite movie? I'm a huge fan of Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan. Did you see Frozen? I like Frozen a lot. Not yet. Oh, you need to see Frozen. Like, people keep saying that, and like... It's really good. It's really good. Normally, I don't like Disney, but I'm a sucker for anything ice and snow, so I really want to go check that out. I, I Maybe on Monday? I have this, like, AMC gift card that I haven't been able to use yet. Oh, go see Frozen. What? Definitely go see Frozen. I think I'm going to post all the uh, the VODs and just, like, leave my house and let them upload. I think that'll be a thing. I, the most important question is that do we need to go back to the game before I get off topic again for you to increment the counter, or can I just, like, change the topic over and over again? I'm sorry, you'd have to deconstruct the game's code to figure that out. Damn. Yeah. You'd have to, like, data mine it and stuff. It's, uh, it's complicated. It requires many numbers. Add some symbols. Okay, can someone from the future time travel back to right now? And tell me, because this is really, really important information that I need to know. I do want to geek out and talk about Zyra, though. Um, there's a Zyra pick, and we talked about in the first game about how Zyra is a really powerful champion because she has really good zone control, lots of crowd control, all things are great here. And if you look at that comp, you have Zyra being able to lock people down, and you have Rumble, who's able to just fill that with fire. And you have Urgot on top of that, who can just sort of sit very safely back and do things. So there is a massive amount of lockdown on the top part of the screen. Or on this top part of the... On the upper portion of the map. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about off-topic things. Uh-oh. Rival's logic has actually broken the counter. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... Um... um I'm gonna have to restart it now. Hold, I, I. But all of my hard work in there. I don't know. It's really going to waste. Rival posted a logic problem, That's, and it broke the, it. The wind wall does that stop? I bet it stops the rumble. Oh wait, what? How? I That's bet just that the rumble. Just like. It, okay, so. That's a bunch of AOE's in a now. sequence, right? It's like a bunch I of pillar of flames, isn't it? But it's a projectile, I think. Whoa. Does anyone I know? know? I, can't, I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see this. Because if the equalizer can be blocked by one wall, that is huge. Because the team fighting from Pogo World really, really relies on being able to get an equalizer down below. Absolutely everyone have the strangled thorns, have the solar flare. And they're going to have to be careful about how they use the Crescent Sloot from Zin Zhao to not knock people off of all of that AoE. Uh, because they really, really do rely on getting all of that AoE done. But if you can stop the Equalizer, because the Equalizer is sort of the crux of that, where all of this other CC is being used to keep you on top of the Equalizer. But if Windwall blocks the Equalizer, then they have nothing. Well, I don't think it would block the whole thing, though. I mean, I don't think it's that big. Like, they are, are they all cast separately? Like, if you block the first one, does it stop the later ones? Or does, will it just, like, chunk one of them out in the middle somewhere? Oh, an AoE does not cast through. It gets in an area on or around the wall. Okay. 
Well, it, it blocks projectiles, so some AoEs just, like, happen. Like, I don't think you would block Solar Flare, because that just happens. But, like, yeah, it doesn't stop that. Will, explosive Casket will block, because that's a skill shot being sent from Gragas. So the question is, does Equalizer get casted from the sky, or does it get casted from Rumble? I'm actually not sure. Well, hopefully we'll see it happen, and we can figure it out. I know it kills all, of, basically all of Gragas's throws. Um, yeah, Yasuo is ridiculously good against Gragas. Like, it's just not nice. Not so good against Nidalee, he just doesn't have enough wind walls for that. Hey, Santa Gragas skin, we haven't seen one of those in a while. Or ever, possibly, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. And once again, a ton of flashes. Look how many flashes in this game. Let me switch over to the uh, right scene for that. Ta-da! We have five, six flashes. We have six flashes in this game. I don't think mm -hmm. I've ever seen a game that has both ten revives and six flashes. That's, yeah, that's a good thing to point out. Well, let's uh, take a look at these two teams here uh, for this second game of the night. This is going to be the Padrinos versus Amateur Pogo World. The Padrinos' team. We have Lil Lums playing as Wukong, X Legit Pillow Pet playing as Ramus, Real Nurse Joy playing as Yosuo, Halexi playing as Gragas, and GG, well played, Easy Life playing as Ezreal. I am one half of your commentators. I am Gandare, and casting with me is... I am Rango River, and the other half of your players are the people who make up the team at Pogo World, or Amateur Pogo World. It is PhD and Feed on Ergot... Rush Hour on Leona, Worm playing Zyra, Victorious on Jungle, on Rumble, oh my god, I just read the last word, and I don't even think about what I'm saying, and Word Scrap playing Warring Kingdoms. See what I did there. I'm also really pleased that Easy Life is playing Ezreal, and PhD in Seed is playing Butcher Ergot, because, like, those are just really appropriate. This is... Game two of Dominate Dominion number 93. And there are a ton of flashes in this game. Tylar in the chat. Which one of the Padrinos is KDA do you want me to capture? I'm I'm trying to decide between Yasuo and GG Well Played Easy Life. I'm I don't not think sure Yasuo which one. would be that exciting to capture KDA because he doesn't he's not like as flashy. He's really, really strong because of his utility, but he doesn't have that, like, quite the same 100 to 0 potential that a Gragas has. Yeah. I know for one of the games later on in the tournament, I'm going to capture all of the revives and put them at the top of the screen. Like, everyone's revive icons, just so there's, like, a reference counter at the top instead of having to look, like, left and down, then right and down. All right, yeah. he, wants, he wants me to capture GG Well Played Easy Life's. All right, I'll set that up. That'll be in the video. You won't be able to see it on the stream. You'll have to check out the VOD after the tournament is over. Um, which, the VODs from this one will be posted by Monday. Does anybody know how to use FFmpeg? That's what I want to know, because when I downloaded the VOD from last week to cut it up, I forgot what the FFmpeg command was to change the container from an FLV into an MP4. So now I have this giant 1080p FLV file that I can't do anything with. Because I forgot... I have several times, and... I find commands that do it, but it gets a little bit of desync because it's so long. I'm trying to remember where the command was that I saw that kept it from getting desynced, because that's what I used to make the LOL Pro Tourney videos. I wrote it down at text doc and can't find it. I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. That's why I'm like, that's why those VODs still aren't up. I have all the video, it's saved, it's good, but I just don't know. Like, I know all of the words that you said, but not in a context of way you can actually do things with those. Oh man, the Gander con command is different now. Kindle jump start on Leona. PhD and feed without items yet. I hope he remembers to buy. B. Okay, there we go. 
And it looks like it is going to be Yasuo in the bot lane. And Tyler is yeah. like, Zyra. F it, just do both. So I will, you know what, why not, man? Why the heck not? Let's, let's put Ezreal's and Yasuo's up there for you. I'm actually really, really surprised that it's Zyra bot lane. I definitely expected Ergot bot lane. And Zyra's zone control early on is just so good. So good. Alright, so we are on to the crystal scar. On to the scar? That sounds weird. What? The crystal scar? That is such a weird name. Now that I think about it. Gragas and Ramus, of course, they have ways of getting top faster. So they're gonna get there a little bit early. Leona engaging almost immediately some damage down to legit pillow pad. He takes a lot. Not turning on in the spike shell. He doesn't have a point in the spike shell yet. Not sure I agree with that. Lilum's coming up with Victoria's behind him. He's quite being used already. Some barrels getting thrown out. A little bit of damage done to Leona, but she doesn't really care with the Eclipse active. Rumble just zoning. They have to engage it, or the windmill is just going to peacefully go over the way of Poco World. And Body Slam does not connect. Leona gonna go back in onto Lilum. Still just tapping. Nice interrupt by two life there. Whipstrap engaging the fight. Ponko is down. Pong gonna jump back in and Ergot finishes the capture there. That's a very peaceful windmill. I like the little gift bot, the little gift cask things. That's pretty cool. Wood scrap getting yeah, low on health it. is gonna get picked off, and there is a taunt for rush hour getting pulled into the enemy team there. Makes it take a little bit of damage. Helexi able to snatch that up away from them. And ooh, GG well played. Easy life able to tag. Can he get the double kill? Yes! yes. Tried to flash back under tower, but Tung killed him. Practically mid flash, which I don't think is technically possible, but they also recall though, and Zinja coming back with the revive. And these overlays are hard to do in like one minute. There we go, I have them now. Calling. See this like land with the arcane shift so it doesn't land onto Ezreal. A little lumpsy cloud damage, there's a shutdown going over to Wood Scrap. Ram is coming back up with his revive. Without his revive, Ram is actually just waited for the respawn to come back up. So nice save on that one. I'd really like to see motion down, but they're gonna try to dive this rush hour. Ooh, Honestly, rush hour. Just barely able to make it out of there. Still has some mana to play with, but is waiting on cooldowns. Turn around, going back into the fight, getting picked up, unfortunately. And Gragas with two, three kills, two double kills. Wukong and Gragas picking it up at there at the top part of the map. Ezreal has eight assists so far. That's one for every single kill that his team has gotten. It's pretty good so far. Yeah, that's really nice. And he can keep that up, too. That's the best part. Once he hits 6 and he can ult Zyra, he can even get in on Real Nurse Joy's kills. Oh, that oh. Solar Flare. Ouch. That's... Uh, that hurts. Oh, man. I'm kind of unhappy that I got that on camera. <laughs> I bet he wishes <laughs> that we didn't see that. Yeah, I, I got it on camera also. Oh dear. Oh yeah, Ramus didn't die. He was recalled. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why he didn't revive. Why didn't Ramus revive? He just Ramus got the quick recall and came back yeah. along with the other guys. And ooh, Rumble, your health. Rumble. Yes, it looks like he can. But Leon are doing a nice job of zoning there. Little so pillow but not taking too much. And the Equalizer, of course, coming across there. Lots of damage to everyone. Body time forward. High super kinetic position reverser. And as you nice. Rod picks up his first kill of the game, and puts him onto, onto Rumble there. Lilum takes a bit of damage. Going to Nimbus Strike away there. Nimbus Strike back in. I'm sorry, after decoying out. Peachy and Feet getting chased down. The move speed on the Zerum is unreal. Is he going to be able to get here in time to save Lilum's? No! Shut down over to Urgot out there. Uh oh, Urgot has walked past the point of no return. When you get past that health relic, it's very, very easy to get ganked. And X legit pillow pet coming right around from back with Ramus in order to take him down. Yeah, he's been doing a solid job, and Yasuo's actually been doing a good job down here in the bottom line. Hasn't lost his tower. You know, hasn't gotten any kills yet either, but 
As long as he has control of his tower, and he's putting pressure on the enemy, you're doing an okay job as a bottom laner. So he's doing just fine. Archive already completed there, getting that extra wave clear. Crit chance. Yasuo gets double crit chance from all of his items, but his crits only do 180% damage instead of 200% damage. Because that would just be crazy. Ooh, nice block nice. there. Probably, yeah, the grass right there. And the room down. Not gonna ult that. Uh oh, X legit okay, pillow pet coming around from the back. Catches Rumble for it. And real Nurse Joy gonna pick up his first kill of the game. Zyra's ult not being terribly effective there. And Ezreal. What? That's scrub. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know, he, he was, he was rolling so hard there for a little bit. But, of course, it was good that this is my bot. That's what you want to do. Ooh, barrage, good there. true shot barrage. Good taunt on top of that because Ezreal was just a hit away from disaster. One acid hunter could have been the end of him, but Ramus had him covered. And Wukong, once again, going into play away. No solar for this time. And the neutral on the boneyard as well. So, really nice map control coming out from Los Padrinos. And now going to get Dovon here by Wukong. Ooh, and oh dear, and suddenly Ramus. Yeah, that's that um point. Oh, what? What? I, I don't. I don't remember the number I said. Well, I think it was point oh oh one seconds that it takes him to get across the entire map. Yep. Yeah, point oh oh one seconds. Kappa equals point oh oh one. And hitting the recall there, Wu Kong is going to be on his way back up shortly. Nice legit pill pet hanging out. Grog is zoning around down on the bottom part. Make sure they can't push up from that direction. Ezreal Arcane shifting over is going to dodge that Zenith Blade. Looks like they have bought enough time for Wukong to get here, but he's going to be a little bit late to the party as the Equalizer hits everyone on the team. Whoa! He got that with the crushing blow! I didn't think he was quite going to have enough. Oh, Rush Hour! Oh, got him! Took him out! That was a very nice example of so close. But yeah, I thought he might go down after the stun. You, yeah, Leona's leveling E second. I think that if she was leveling, she might have actually been able to pick that up. Meanwhile, yes, the full low health onto Zyra and the volley in there. She's gonna get yeah. Neutral down, but will not be able to capture. He's too low. Rumble doesn't have his equalizer back up, so he can't just come down here and drop it on Yasuo, luckily for him, but he is going to back off and play it safe, because if you got the neutral, that's good. You don't overcommit to that capture. Don't put yourself at risk when you're already ahead. Yeah, that is so important. Cyclone comes down, but he is exhausted. He's too much damage, and Legit Pillow Pet has to run away. Drag is coming back up. They're all on to Rush Hour. Man, it feels like that damage landed just before Eclipse came up. Because I don't think he could do that much damage with the Eclipse up, especially with yeah, not with five ranks in it. Ooh, really Wood Scrap felt that, and he backed off right after that crushing blow. We well, are doing a good job of hanging out in the front of the team, but she's getting chipped down by this Ezreal. And with that Storm Shield, anytime Wukong can get in for a crushing blow, Ramus is coming around from the side. Equalizer gets thrown down. Very good Equalizer. Lilums, though, is able to escape with a Nimbus Strike through out the other side. HD and Feed getting it focused down as well. Ezreal is so good at kiting right now. And the damage from the Equalizer just wasn't quite enough. Gonna dive forward onto Victorious. The double kill for Ezreal. 7 1 and 15. The Petrinos are having an awesome game so far. Up top, very dominant. And real noise, Nurse Joy hasn't died at all. Yeah. Why would you take revive? What if it takes revive? Just don't die. Ooh, he's gonna dash out through the minions. Nurse Joy able to escape there. And is he gonna go for it? Is he gonna pick up this kill against Zyra? Is he gonna get out of the way before the passive? No, no the plant, plant got anyway. him. Almost had a perfect game down there going. And he doesn't need to use his revive either because his tower is not threatened. Good awareness and not using that. But then you have positive time spent dead again there. Hey, if he doesn't lose his tower. It's all about the stats. Uh, his stats are pretty respectable so far. It's 3-1-0. It's true. 
Oh, is GG well played easily? Life getting executed? Okay. I thought he might get executed here. No, he did manage to make it out without pulling a Neo style. He also has an Iceborne, so that's a good amount of armor. Sure shot barrage across to do not really anything. That decoy, Leon was not falling for that one. Yeah, much, much better play than before. She did that once, and I think she's sunburned for life because of it. Can Leona get sunburned? That's a good question. Uh-oh. Real Nurse Joy, I'm terrified for you, man. Yeah, me too. They're coming for this Padrino down here. Is he going to be able to escape? Oh, nice Juke of the Solar player there. But it's not really going to matter. And this is when he's very glad that he didn't revive before. Oh, dear. So he does have that revive, and since he didn't use it earlier, excellent job of uh, being able to keep that pocketed. Is he actually going to be able to defend this, though? I'm not sure. He can't quite get through to Zyra. They're doing a really good job of interfering for him. Nice. He is able to take oh, down Zinn. And he got the max close and got the perfect shield and everything. That was that a was great crazy. combo. Yeah. And, oh, there's a Zyra ult! That does go down to the Zyra there. GG well played, Easy Life misses his ult. Dang. Goes down. Worm. Man. Zyra's a really good pick, guys. I'm just saying. Going to body slam away there. This quest has been available pretty much the entire game. For them. Yeah, they haven't they haven't been uh, moved yet. They're pushing pretty hard on this bomb once again. Little Ums, uh, not able to take care of that point on his own. Yeah, so that's gonna be the quest. So dropping that twenty nexus health, becoming conquerors. Is the mark of the conqueror like a death mark? I'm not sure. Oh, Zin missing. Uh, Zin being yeah. missed, rather, by that really helped him out. Power. Still, I think it's probably going to go down here. Although, he lived for a really long time. Couldn't quite get the Eclipse to proc to interrupt the capture there, though. GG Bowl played easy life up at the top. Picking up a kill there. Equalizer. Oh, that one not as good as some of the ones he's had earlier on this game. Actually, a lot of damage here. He's pretty tanky for an AD carry, but he doesn't have very much magic resist. I'm gonna shoot that two shot barrage across. Doesn't the quite kill her. Very close. And Ram is coming around from the back. Ooh, yeah, didn't snare in time. That Wooglis doesn't last as long as Powerball. Is Ram is gonna be able to do it? Really yeah. He was, though, fortunately able to pick it up. Oh, nice, nice, Whoa, nice, he nice, just nice, interrupted the Zenith nice. Blade. Yeah. But he did die as a result. Sacrifices people make for their teams. Solar Flare hits Ezreal perfectly there. Sun comes down also, and that is dead Ezreal. And she had a great nice. lead on that. Pillow Pet drops for a double kill over to Zen. And this could potentially be a three cap, but explosive nope. death says no, it can't. Sorry. But things are too kinetic for that potential to happen. And with the pressure Yasuo is putting on down there, they aren't really able to get out away from that tower. He's keeping Zyra backed up against it. Legit Pillow Pet is staying on rush hour to keep him away. They're able to pick up a kill against Rumble, and it looks like Padrino's is going to advance on to the next round. It looks like they are indeed. 10 seconds, and every kind of position reverser there to put Gragas in a turret. Meanwhile, Gatsu picks up the kill on the Zyra. This one, very, very high health. And I am, I am really disappointed by this game, because you did not get to see whether the wind wall lost the equalizer or not. Nope. That will be answered another day. See, if we didn't do the post-game stats, Screen. I tried to say the words at the same time. Then I could say, so stay tuned to find out. Dominate Dominion number 93. And then I could transition over the whole screen. It would have been the best outro ever. But we have to do the post game stats. So I can't do that. There we go. Lots of damage off the champions from Gragas. Makes sense. High damage and lots of AoE. 
didn't quite break 20,000. Was 72 short of that. Oh, I had a request to say on stream that players in the tournament post your screenshots, otherwise it takes us forever to advance you on to the next round. Because we have to get your screenshots of the post-game lobby and the bans and everything. And if you can't get us those, we can't get you into your next game and you can't win anything. Very important that you submit those screenshots. And then people can't watch games, it's just... Bad. You post them in the discussion tab. Alright, let's take a look at the post game, post game. Damage Delta Champions. Grog is up in front with about 20k. A lot of damage from Ezreal and Wukong as well. It's actually really impressive that Ezreal was that high considering he has very little AoE and Gragas is like entirely AoE and also because mages just tend to do more damage early on than AD carries. No, I think I can open this without messing up my overlay. Yay! Okay, so the next game... It looks like the next game is going to be Infamous Gaming versus the Padrinos. Alright, so we'll get that up for you in a sec. For now, I'm going to play some music, so don't go anywhere, guys. You want to find out, does Windwall block the Equalizer? So stay tuned for the next game of Dominate Dominion number 93. 